I'm live. Great, fantastic. Okay, welcome everybody. I am live. Welcome to the Colony News. So, what's going on right now? We're gonna hang out. We're gonna play the. Oh, hey. Hey, hey, Nancy. The commander is here. Forgive me. All right. <laughs> fantastic. Ah. All right, so we're here. We are, first of all, gonna go over a couple things uh, about the battlefield today, the ways that you can control it. And if you are new to this channel, if you've never seen us before, let me tell you a little bit about us. We are Hyper RPG. We're a hyperactive, interactive, community-driven Twitch channel built by you. So literally, this thing, you built this. You made this happen. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. And honestly, and because all you all you new people out there supporting us, throwing us follows, that we can do this crazy shit every Friday night. Let me add to that, I want to thank all the uh, Battletech Kickstarter backers who funded this project and brought you the uh, demo that you see today. Heck yeah, and thank you guys if you're Battletech fans and you just started checking us out, maybe you saw us at Gen Con, saw us at Gen Con, we're really happy to have you here and to blow up some mechs. Yo, look at how sweet these are. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. Oh, that's a nice job. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Um, Chad, oh, the Packers. Excuse you, excuse uh, you. Uh, Guys, the Centurion. Hi, by the way, Viking Lass here. I'm the mech executioner and repairer. This one looks like shit. Help the Marauders destroy the crap out of this thing. I even gave it a Cylon eye. My friend wanted a Cylon Ooh, eye. It's a by your command. And it even says, kill me on the back in German. Um, Kill it, please. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. okay, so I just want to point out we had a Bears color scheme earlier and now we have Packers, so this is bringing back a lot of memories and feelings right now. You realize I'm, you're I'm, probably not talking to jocks, right? Yeah. I'm just saying. I'm not even a, a jock, clearly. Look at me. So All I right. don't I don't know. Let me see if I can drive this thing with one eye. Alright, well you are, are starting that out and we're going to talk about that in a second. I just want to point out we have a bunch of different battlefield purchases for before and during the battle that you can come check out and support the team with. So we are working on unlocking a Kintaro right now. Someone I saw just donated for the hood, the hood ornament for it, and you can all work on that together. This is a collaborative purchase, uh, so everyone can team up on this and make it happen. That is just a missile boat. Like literally, the the Sarno.net description was like, it has a deadly package. It's a it's a so basically, <laughs> yes. I have a dead. My that's my new call sign. Deadly package. Deadly package. It's gonna be delicious. Yes. Yeah, so we want to unlock that. We also want to unlock the Panther because you guys thoroughly destroyed the last Panther we had, <laughs> and uh, we also have one set of explosive uh, salvo left for our tail end, so that is a $25 uh, ammo upgrade that allows him to basically hit in an What area if of my effect. explosive package delivered a salvo? A salvo? I'm you're, just saying. You're, you're sorry, so your deadly package? My deadly package. Delivers an explosive salvo. An explosive salvo. By, what the, I did there? by the way, guys, I totally forgot to mention, if you're new, if you're interested in supporting us uh, in a terms of a subscription, by the way, if you want to subscribe, today is the perfect day to do it because it's Freaky Friday. We're not gonna change bodies. You're just gonna get a uh, Steam key giveaway. We should change chat. bodies. No, that's though. okay. That, that would seems, be great. Seems like a losing. I want you to walk around in proposition. this shit. <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> so yeah, Freaky Friday, guys. Every time we get a subscriber, we're doing a Steam key giveaway. Excellent. All right. What else we got? Haunted. A, oh, you can guess who this is for. Jackal. So he's gonna hear voices in his head. He's gonna be reminded of his old comrades in battle. So one enemy mech will be randomly selected and uh, he'll gain a bonus to attack that mech but then uh, lose uh, or gain a negative on all his piloting rolls as he's disturbed by this mech that reminds him of an old comrade that he used to battle with. Great, I love dealing with psychos. That's yeah, fantastic. yep, we're just going right into that. Now, right. oh, Corfi also has a really cool ability. She has evasive, so for $50 this allows her to make a high difficulty piloting check yeah. when she's attacked and if she succeeds, she actually gets to reduce the damage taken, but she gains extra heat as, you know, she's maneuvering her mech oh, that's she I like I like mech damage reduction. It, right? Don't you wish I, you could have that in this mission? I approve. Excellent. So the other stuff we got going on here is we've already got the scrap and forced armor. Thank you. We also have kit bash. This is our repair for the Marauders. So if you want to see the Marauders repaired, uh, this would be a really good choice. Uh, that's $50 to fix them all. And then we have uncertain footing. So for $100, this is our kind of game changer for the night. What this does is it means that the earth, the terrain will all be unstable and be a danger and a hazard and change over the course of this battle. And that's positive? Well, it's equally bad for everyone. Yeah. But mostly it's just cool. All right, the hell with that one. Get the damage reduction. I like that one. <laughs> just saying. Why not both? Lobby you right Why not there. both? Uh, also, guys, in battle we have some new abilities. So for Corfi, she can also make special uh, piloting checks to actually uh, counterattack 
with her Defy. Uh, Jackal has pushed all the buttons, allows him to extend the range on his Alpha Strikes. Nice. Uh, Valrevan has the point blank where she just literally jams her gun into someone, does extra damage to them, and then shoots with a, a bonus. I like it. Yes, and uh, Talon actually has a new ability where he can actually attack any number of mechs that his allies have already attacked that turn, and if he does, his ally gains a plus one bonus on all their piloting checks. Swell. Yes, and somebody's a, training that kid, right? Yeah, he's getting there, and also they have the, of course, the close call, which allows them to make a reroll, and that's fifty dollars. Superior intel, ten dollars allows them to negate a uh, point value penalty against them, and then we have, oh, for op four. I don't know if I really want to spoil this, but basically, uh, hmm. I'm not going to say the name of the character. I'm just going to say their ability. It's called R.I.P. And it allows them to use, make an electronic melee spike attack that will actually disable one to three components at random of the target if it's successful. Whose idea was that? That was my. You're my fired. Idea. <laughs> I am just trying to make it fair because you know the Marauders have been doing pretty good lately. That's because of ammo explosions on the end. <laughs> Lucky shots. Yes, and you can also send in the cavalry for uh, fifty dollars. You can also add a couple new. Uh, tanks to the battlefield to help our enemy today. Also, no regrets, of course, is our reroll $50 and $10 for our smokescreen, which allows the enemy to have increased difficulty for getting hit. And there are a couple neutral abilities that will unlock if we get the unsteady terrain. So I'm going to leave those a mystery, um, but they will actually change the map. We'll add new tiles to the map if this is unlocked. We just got them. They're super cool. All right, that's it for today. Uh, in regards to that, let's talk about the Battletech demo you have let's here. Let's talk about the Battletech demo. I played it earlier. Yeah? It was awesome. Did you win? Uh, well, I didn't have time to finish it. I got to the airship. Oh, nice. But I did pretty good. I lost the commando. That's actually not an airship. That is a leopard class, just like the Ojimbo. Oh, that's a leopard class. Okay. Yeah, it is. That's I didn't... the real deal. Yeah, let's get in here. Look Whoa. at this level of detail. Hello. Wait, All you right. can rotate the camera. I didn't even know that. Yeah, that's why we made it 3D. You're so smart. Oh, oh thank look at you. all that yeah. field. I did all the programming and art myself, by the way. And wow. All right. So up here, <laughs> what do we got here? Oh, that's our commando. It, thank you. You know, it's really kind of challenging to do this with one eye. <laughs> that's not um, that. <laughs> so yeah, that's a commando right there, and then uh, right there we've got a black. Commando jet. was first to die when I played, by the way. Uh, that's because you ran it out too far now. I'll that's 100% accurate. Yeah, that's right. It's a scout, but it's not a moron. All right. Over here we got a black jack. That is a black hawk. Black hawk. And a uh, black hawk is a uh, is a medium mech, and it's uh, it's kind of flexible. It's kind of all around. Now this one Woo! is a personal favorite. Let me yeah get, really get up in cool. there. Oh that, yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Stream close. That is a marauder, and uh, a marauder. One Whoa. of the cool things about the marauder is it's got twin PPCs, it's particle projection cannons. Ooh. And just for the record, the mech warrior that uh, is in it, Myrmidon, I believe, mm -hmm. yeah, I, can, I can almost read that. Uh, <laughs> really good with those PPCs. And finally, uh, we got Overload here. Overload is the mech warrior inside. It's really hard not to read that as Overlord. I know. It's really but freaking me out. Here's the trick, if you know Death From Above, you will have an idea who inspired the mech warrior in this mech. Anyway, oh, this is the king yeah. of the battlefield right here. Uh, that is 100 tons of death. All right. It's fully loaded. Look at all those weapons. AC-20, LRM-20, SRM-6, and four medium lasers? Yeah. It's pretty powerful. Yeah. Uh, it's wildly powerful. It's also, wildly you're gonna have to teach me how to not overheat my Marauder, because that was a big problem for me. You gotta turn off some weapons, son. All right, let's move them out oh, okay. here. What do we got? All right. All right. So, uh, now, here's a, you know what? I'm dropping out of character now, so I All right, you can just be All Mitch. Right, ready? Watch this. And see. Oh, look, it was Mitch the whole time! Can I have a drink now? Yeah, because uh, well, I'm no longer in sober get this character. Man, get this man a drink. No, there's no, no booze in sorry. this entire place, I know. I'm sorry. All right, so. We're dry tonight. Now, uh, we're not in combat yet, and because we're not in combat, that means that we can just start moving our mechs. You right? can just go full sprint? Yeah, we can go full sprint, and we're, we're not going to wait for the enemy to take a turn. So just real fast, what you do is your first click tells your mech warrior where to go. Mm. The second click tells you uh, how you're going to end up, what facing you're going to end up. And you can see that the catapult, uh, the sorry, the uh, commando is so maneuverable that it can uh, uh, move it almost any uh, uh, tur turn its torso almost 360 degrees. Oh, boom! Enemy contact. So are you actually, now are you actually getting like cover too when you end up in wooded areas or? Yes, absolutely. Just wow. like Battletech, uh, you get cover from uh, 
different uh, types of terrain, etc. Sure. Now, the interface is still very incomplete. Like I said, this is a super... Pre-alpha, uh, guys. Pre-alpa. Pre Check it. That's uh, 0. 0. 0.0.7. That's, that's the indicator. Pretty says, damn good looking, though, for a pre-alpha. Yeah, well, we're happy. Yeah. Uh, anyway, the idea here is that... Uh, up to this point, I could have moved all my mechs up and kept them in formation and stuff like that. And we won't see the enemy taking their moves, although they are. Mm -hmm. uh, but at this point, now that we have a sensor contact, let's see, oh, there uh, we go. Here we go. Right? So here's uh, our fog of war. You can see right here, by the way, here's our mission objective. And our mission objective was to is to capture this base which means uh, eliminate the defenders and get close. All right. All right. Now, now that we've got an em enemy contact, a sensor contact, now we're going to finish this turn, move the rest of our mech warriors up, mm -hmm. and then we're going to go to turn and turn, and we go back and forth and interleave. I'll show you how that works. And one last thing with the sensors, okay, you can see that at this point, we're so close, we can make out that this is an enemy mech. We don't know the weight class of the enemy mech, okay. and we don't know which enemy mech it is, and as we get closer, that will resolve. Okay, so we simply there. know that's there, and that's the right. only mech we know about, so there right. could be a lot more. Right. All right, so I'm going to say that that mech warrior is done. Uh oh, I think I just skipped somebody's turn. Oh, a moron. All right, so he's coming this way. Mm. I'm going to go here. Maybe. Right? Because you're going to get those bonuses for attacking the rear and flanking. So That's you're right. To set yourself up we for that. simulate all of that, and there will actually be more interface later to make it very clear to you. Uh, what facing you're at and what your enemy's facing is. All right, let's bring up Daddy Longstroke Ooh, here. Daddy Longstroke. Did I say that right? And that is, that's a name. Yeah. So the cool thing is, uh, as far as I know, basically all the mechs we're using in DFA, we can basically use in this game since we're using the same models. Like, is that, yeah. and before I say things that are totally nope. incorrect, all right. Now you'll see this mech is getting closer, right? I'm gonna run back. All right, I'm gonna move back to it real fast. And we see that it's a commando, so that's their scout. That's only Easy a to destroy. Mech. Yeah, but mine is pretty far out, just like yours was. Right. And that is uh, a trouble. It means you could quickly lose your commando. Now, take a look up here, guys. This is really interesting. This is a new thing that we've added to mm. our game that doesn't exist in the Battletech board game. Uh, we have a new turn order system, so there are five uh, phases that you can possibly do for your turn. Nobody exists in this phase. This is for pilots with extra skill levels, but light mechs go on phase four, medium mechs on phase three, heavy mechs on phase two, and assault mechs on phase one. Because of our sensor contacts, we can see that they have what appears to be either three medium mechs or three pretty heavy tanks right here. They've got oh. one, one light mech, which we know is the commando, Right? And so they've if you're, got one heavy mech here. So if you're paying attention, you can quickly sort of get a brief If they're in sensor range, we're not okay. going to give you free information. Sure. Okay? So that's one thing. So right now, you can see that our commando, Bullhorn, can go uh, right away. And we can choose now. This is the cool part. In order to make light mechs feel more maneuverable and more flexible, mm -hmm. right? We can actually, as we're about to do, reserve their... Yeah, space. you can delay. Nice. Right. We're going to hold that for later right, to see if we can do something more interesting with him. Now it's back to our turn. Instead of charging him oh, headfirst into danger. Looks like the enemy didn't make move. I'm going to hold that Ooh. again. Let's see what happens. Oh, you guys are playing a bit of, a bit oh, of chicken. That's right. I want to suck him in. Okay, now we see okay. that. Definitely a tank then. Maybe an infantry? It's a vehicle. It's a vehicle. It's, a so vehicle. it's definitely a vehicle. Yeah, right now there is no infantry in the game. Okay. So it's definitely okay. a vehicle. Right now it's mechs and, and uh, tanks. That's all we're committing to. That's cool. All right, so we've reserved uh, him. Now the Shadow Hawk, let's uh, see. Yes. We have a choice. We can walk to here, and you can see the uh, weapon ranges that we're talking about, right? Or we can sprint her. Yeah. We can get her even closer. Okay, okay for, so if you're a total noob like me, uh -huh. what does it mean when you sprint in Battletech? How does that change what's so happening? So in this Battletech game, the way it works is if you walk, you can then fire. Okay. Right? If you sprint, you can't fire. Okay. So basically you're doing, you know, like a full move, full on sprint. Right, so you don't have time to You'll attack. also notice that she has jump jets. Yeah. And so, see how that works? And so I can have her jump over certain terrain. In this case, cool. we don't need her to. All right. So I'm gonna run her out. What do you think? To about here. Yeah. All she right? can take. She can take a couple hits. Yeah. 
This is usually the mech that I uh, lose. Oh really? This game. Let's see if we can get some line of sight. I feel like the mech you lose says a lot about like which mechs you care about in this game. Interesting point. <laughs> All right, back to our turn. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. Go. Now, so it's back to us. You see that we're on phase two. Phase this two? is when the heavies move, right? So I could choose to take Myrmidon, mm -hmm. right, uh, and move him up. Okay. Or I could use the commando. Right? Okay. Because I reserved his phase. Try right? to get a little more information. Right. I choose to bring in the Marauder. Get yeah. It. Now, you'll see, um, one thing is interesting. I won't have line of sight when I get this close. Oh, whoa, but are you in range? Uh, well, uh, let's see. Yeah, I might be in weapon range, but without okay. line of sight, it doesn't matter. Oh, I see. Does you it? still can't now, take it. Okay. if for some reason one of my mechs had line of sight, but another mech doesn't on the same target, right? Then that first mech can be a spotter for the second cool. mech. Cool. So and you could I, run the commando forward. I could use so if the commando was forward and had line of mm -hmm. sight, for example, and then I had another mech that was like behind a mountain. Right. If that other mech had indirect fire weapons, it could loft missiles yeah. over the mountain, never be hit, but be able to hit them. The beauty right? of future warfare is just so much easier. We could actually do that today. That makes sense. Right. That's pro that's probably not that complicated. But the 31st century is still pretty damn. Good. There's still some, well, the giant robot part is definitely the yeah. the big draw. Yeah. All right. No LOS there. Okay, he's done. Nothing to fire on. It's about time to start blowing up some mechs. Let's see. I guess uh, both in this game and right. in DFA. There are enemy units moving, and we don't know where. This bothers the hell out of me. Try to get a little more information. I'm going to sprint the commando. Stick your nose out. No. Oh, no, no. 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 Okay. I'm putting it, or I'm going to try and flink around. See uh, this? Yeah, yeah, right yeah. Here? You can go through there. But the commando won't really be able to get over that uh, that tough terrain, I assume? Uh, right, that's not simulated yet. Okay. I mean, okay. you can't walk over this. Right, exactly. Right? If I had a jump mech, you I need a jump jet. There. Yep. All right. And now comes that pop of blood vessel, right? The Atlas. Which I am not looking at. There we go. And I want to get a better battlefield view. All right, I'm going to move the Atlas at a sprint too. And I'm not worried about the Atlas taking damage. It's got huge, huge armor. All right, there we go. Someone now, said, Are we supposed to see the camera of the map getting ready? Ideally, yes. I hope it's up. I can't tell right now, but we love to show you guys what's going on right. inside the main bay while we're building up. Now, for DFA. here's a great example of line of sight. Oh, are you about to us. do the trick? No, my commando right here, well, maybe. My commando <laughs> right here has line of sight on the enemy commando, mm -hmm. right? I could engage that enemy commando with my commando. Blow him up! Screw that noise. Oh, no. Instead, <laughs> let's see. Here's an example of indirect fire, right? Yes. Gargoyle has... Oh, she's got some uh, LRM-5s. All right, so first of all, I'm going to reserve, right? Let them move. Oh, oh so here we go, here we go. It's deeper a hunchy. into the trap, All right, so here's a dangerous hunchback coming around the side, okay? It's got the big old cannon. Right. I'm going to reserve her yet again so I can keep my line of sight on this mech mm -hmm. right here, right? All right, so you reserve Bullhorn. All right, let's see what happens. They get another move. Somebody else is coming in. Right into the danger zone, come on! Right into the uh -oh. danger zone. Oh, dude, dude. All right, so the problem uh, there is that enemy commando had line of sight on mine. Yep, mech. and he was like, all right, if you're not going to shoot yeah, me, I'll shoot Jordan's you. Yeah, I'm glad not here. All right, <laughs> so now, what we got? We got, all right, so... All right, gargoyle. Here. Yeah, gargoyle. Let's hurt see. some people. I would like to, but apparently, yeah, she's she's got some LRMs. Yeah, she's got some right? good stuff there, right? And so let me hit attack. Yeah. Right. And now let's take a look. So, all right, I can see she has a 57% chance with our LRMs, and that's the that is the only mech that she could fire at right now. But. There's no need to fire at this moment. I can first first move her up and get right. a higher. Uh, and we're less worried about her getting hurt. She's uh, tough. Well, well, she's in the Shadowhawk, so she's a little tougher than the Commander. A little more durable. Right. So, yeah, but if I keep her behind this uh, ridge... She'll be able to shoot. She'll no, shoot. no, she still has... Remember, she still has uh, the LRMs, mm -hmm. but she'll be closer. Okay, and, so that should give her right, a little so bit... So I'm going to execute on that, get her up closer. 
Alright. Now let's attack. Alright. Alright. And you see I well. Does it increase your odds, Blunt? But it does actually get you in better positioning to yeah. then fire with your other weapons. <laughs> yeah, I like seeing all those little numbers coming off yeah, them in the explosions. That's all right, isn't it? That's satisfying. Oh, these little tanks, though, you just get squashed them, right? Uh, oh, hey, stop that! Yeah. All right, so right now <laughs> it's time bullhorn. to yeah. Let's get oh, bullhorn. I'm gonna take bullhorn as far as I can. Oh man, I think Nate was telling me about his strategy with the commando was just to run circles around people, just like you're doing right now. I hope you're right. We're All gonna right. find out. At the very least, <laughs> nobody has LOS yeah. on that one. Let's uh, let's get a DFA battle cry going while we switch to the waiting screen and get these mics in this last camera. All right, DFA battle cry going together? Let's make it happen. All right. So we just we just shout death from above, right? That's the whole. Get trick. him fucking go! Yeah! All right. Give me your war face! Yeah! Ah! Look at that! Wow! Death from 